This video tutorial demonstrates how to use the Maptitude Shortest Path Toolbox to find the fastest or shortest route. Make sure that your map contains the Here Street layer that is included with your country package. In this tutorial, I'm using the Australia Country Package, but the steps are identical regardless of what country you are using. First click this button to open the Shortest Path Toolbox. Choose whether to base your shortest paths on distance or travel time. Then click Options to choose Routing Options. You can choose whether or not to keep the stops in the order that you specify them, and whether or not to return to the first stop. First, we will use the Keep Stops in Order and Return option. Maptitude will now find the shortest path to each stop we specify and back to the first stop. If you have a point layer that contains the locations to be visited, click this button, and then choose the layer and whether or not to use all records or a selection set. Or you can use the Add a Stop tool and click on the map. For example, I'm going to start at an origin here in Cambridge and go down to Canning. Maptitude displays the shortest path on the map and reports the travel time in the toolbox. Note that it takes about 38 minutes to go from this origin to destination and back. I can continue to add additional stops here in East Fremantle and up in Belmont. Notice that Maptitude is keeping the stops in the order that I've chosen and returning to the origin. You can use this tool to add a stop by clicking on the path and dragging the mouse to a new location. We now have five stops and a return to the origin that takes about 81 minutes. Now let's see whether Maptitude can find a more efficient order in which to visit the stops and return to the origin. Again, I will click Options, but this time I will choose to keep the first stop and return. Maptitude will determine what order to visit the other stops. Now click this button to recalculate the route with the revised options. Notice now the travel time is 65 minutes. Finally, you can click the Get Directions button to display turn-by-turn -turn directions for visiting each of the stops on this route. Click this button to clear the stops when you're done. That wraps up this tutorial on finding shortest paths in Maptitude.